opportunity everyone so meanwhile other uh, students will join it so hope most of you know me the, myself dr bashir now i am here for this semester i am going to teach you a course called web technologies web technology course includes theory as well as lab okay so the course code now you are in the third year first semester right so in the sense is you are in the fifth semester now welcome to you all again to this new semester and you just waiting for your two to examination right so it also be done soon now the course code for the web technologies is 16 bt 16 is your regulation bt is a btech phi is the fifth semester 12 means it code 03 is the course number so 16 bt 51203 is our course code for web technologies before going to start my uh, topics of today let me have give some simple instruction to you so as this course is uh, very much uh, related to of your developing point developing side because already have done this software engineering course in one of the phases of development right so web technologies is assisting for mainly for the purpose of developing something so developing in the sense web related applications or web related any sort of the communication uis or can be has storing point or if you see the three tier tier architecture that is top layer bottom up middle layer all these three layers some sort of inputs we can give it so most probably we'll talk about in this the technology is a interactive part interactive of the web how we can be interactive more about that one how we'll validate the web pages how we'll be store the data whatever you are entering into the web pages into the back end how this will be done so here we are talking about the front end part and the back end part and very less of the validation of web techno the uh, of web pages we are not talking about the middleware things we are talking about more mostly about the five nets front end as well as the back end front end in the sense where we are going to interacting for that one back end in the sense for storing of the database right fine and one more instruction to you is like uh, most of your uh, joining and most of you are maybe just for name sake you are on and we are putting the silent mode because you don't have a, a video process here and it is not the case so again we have the laboratory point so laboratory also in the online it is very comfortable only just a browser and a any notepad any notepad plus plus or notepad pre any version and a simple software the simple software is when we start working on the database then we require the mysql that's all this is a minimum requirement there is no extra stock software is required only the thing is a browser and a notepad that's all to complete the uh, exercises mostly we can do that and when we are start working on the back end only we require the mysql software that's all that's also be open source other than this no worries about the online how we can we do the uh, web technology lab it's very comfortable very easy easy uh, course and only the thing is don't keep uh, silent yourself and just uh, throw uh, on uh, just you log in into the session and you are throw that mobile there and you are doing your own work it's not at all don't do such type of things okay so only this online cl classes will be goes on a word of faith that my students are listening my class and my faculty is delivering with the more efforts it is only the faith we can do in a line that's all because physically we can't see you and uh, directly what you are doing there because you are switch offing your videos and we are believing that you are listening our classes okay by this uh, words let me start this web technology okay the prerequisite for this web technology is job programming so job programming already you have done in the uh, last semester itself job programming have completed right and the summary of the total five units is we are mostly talk about the html4 as well as five features of html5 the css this stands for cascading style sheet javascript we are going to discuss more jquery bootstrap and the hypertext preprocessing that is php as well as mysql so this is the summary of the chapters names where the total five units we talk about. and what is the main objective of these web technologies just now i have discussed with you 
for interacting with the database, for interacting with the web pages through GUI, through any of our forms or any sort of things, through interaction more, interactive uh, ways for this purpose, the web technology, the course is main, the main object. And what's the course outcomes will be getting is when, when you studied over the first unit, you'll be able to demonstrate what are the minimum elements, means minimum concepts to design a web page. Say, for example, if you see the Google, uh, how many elements if you are observed in the web page in the Google uh, home page means a text field is there, a two buttons are there and some radio buttons and some links are there. So that are the four to five elements are there to design that web page, right? So what are the different design elements are available, web design elements and dynamic content as well as database interaction. Dynamic content in the sense, how dynamically the content will be changed whenever any input if you are given, how the reaction, how the action will be done. And also the databases interaction. The second one talks about the second outcome analysis of user requirement. See, for example, when any customer comes to you and develop a railway web page, first of all, you need to understand how the page look like, how many sub pages or comes under, what are the navigations I need to do, where the main menu bar, where, where is the banner of the page, and where the scrolling of the information, any updates or any contact us, where actually the things can be put into that total size of the web page maybe it's a 1024 by 1024 or any other sort of that analysis is more required when you start working on this web applications the third one is the design like as i already told uh, said you that directly when you enter some information like you are filling some form say for example you are entering to the gmail you are giving your username and password this is client side now server side what i have to do the username and password is correct or not that has to be done the validation and again open the inbox of your respective uh, gmail or yahoo or any other live.com whatever hotmail whatever it is such type of client server interactions can be done the fourth outcome is demonstrate problem solving skills in the sense real-time problems can be easily solved with the help of this wt and last uh, but one the co5 is you are able to, with the help of all these concepts, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, and PHP, with the help of this, you are able to develop independent web applications for like, as I said, you for railway or for supermarket or for any sort of web applications is required. We can develop with the help of all this concept. And the last outcome is whatever you have done it in the form of a society related application, like uh, develop for a municipal corporation, or just for your area, for your colony, you can develop a web page such a way that automatically any new person enter into your colony, your web page has to get uh, scan that person and identify whether he's calling person or not. Like this small applications, society related applications, or any like we have any sort of water issues out there in your colony. Automatically, whenever any drive will be there in your colony, automatically has to read the things and send back through the help of web application. So here web application will be help you to give the input and to get the output and it will be displayed over there. So it's an interactive page, you can do it easily. Okay. So that is a total six outcomes. We are going to discuss in more about this, right? So as part of uh, the uh, today, uh, let me see the first unit, unit one 